Good morning, children. Welcome to the Narayana Life classes. I'm going to give you the solution of the assignment dated 13th June. Today, our topic is glimpses of the past. I am going to introduce a bit about the topic and then after, certainly, I'll give you the solution. As the topic suggests, glimpses of the past. Let's talk about those people whose contribution can never be forgotten. Those patriots whose love and passion for this nation, who sacrificed their life and made it success finally in 1947, we got freedom. For continuous 200 years being under the Britishers, lots of pain and operations we Indians faced. But so many profound personalities came who did galactically profound tasks and made it success. So we cannot forget the contribution of those people. And of course, one song which I can recall here, sung by Lata Mangeshkar, Oh my country members. In Hindi, if I say, Ay mere vatan ki logo, which brings tears in your eyes. Those song was dedicated to all those people who lived for our nation and who died for our nation. So, the first question of this topic, as the assignment contains few personalities, we'll get to know. The first question of this topic is, what helped the East India Company to overpower Indian princes. I must write the answer here on the board. Please have a look. Indian princes Indian princes were engaged Indian princes were engaged in fighting with one another and this was due to that rule divide and rule elated by the Britishers so Indian princes were engaged in fighting with one another The rivalries paved the way, paved the way for East India Company to overpower the Indian princes. Indian princes. Now we have the second question. Now the second question we have in this assignment. Who was Tipu Sultan? According to me, who doesn't know who was Tipu Sultan? What happened to him? So let me write the answer. Tipu Sultan was a far-sighted ruler of Mysore. Let me tell you, far-sighted means being able to recognize the necessity in future and making plans for it. So Tipu Sultan was a ruler like that who knew, who could foretell, who could forecast the future and he had the plans for it. Now the next point as I wrote, Tipu Sultan was a far-sighted ruler of Mysore. He was dead against 
he was dead against the british and their policies and their policies the question is what happened to him he fought them till he died till he died fighting he fought them the britishers now we have the third question right so the third question we have why did ramohan roy go to england what did he tell the british there so have a look the answer ramohan roy went to england ramohan roy went to england to see what made the british what made the british so powerful he told them he told them that they accepted they accepted them as subjects he also reminded he also reminded them their responsibilities their responsibilities as the subject owed to them as a ruler i'm sorry as a ruler owed to his subjects now we have the fourth question so the question is what was regulation 3 or what was regulation 3 have a look at the answer regulation 3 or regulation 3 was passed by the british in 1818 in 1818 in which an indian could be jailed an indian could be jailed without any trial in a court now we have fifth question So the question is what did Macaulay suggest in 1835 An Englishman Macaulay suggested 
an Englishman, Macaulay suggested that Indians should be taught through the English language. This was the suggestion given by Lord Macaulay. So thank you so much. I hope you would be enlightened better. Take care.